Now diving straight into the home sets haul. I'm obsessed. I love this. That is a rabbit hole I do not want to go down right now. Like, can we talk about this little bean bag? A lot of questions about these glasses. Sitting at home watching a film and I lifted my foot up and it got caught on the heel of my other foot. Hey guys, so I'm starting this video off a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Future me, which is me right now, has just interrupted past me which is the me you're not gonna see because basically I didn't like my intro that I filmed yesterday. The lighting could not have been any worse and I was literally just talking the utmost rubbish for the whole intro. Future me decided to correct that and I just wanted to jump in at this point to say this video is a bit random and a mishmash mishmash of lots of different things so what i wanted to quickly drop here is hi guys hope you're all well if you're new here welcome my name is simone i promise i'm not this scattered all over the place i promise my videos actually have a bit of structure sometimes but clearly not today the clip i'm just gonna go straight into is me trying to show you guys a the beautiful coffee cups that i purchased from cox and cox and b i'll show you guys how i do my morning coffees because they're literally amazing so i'm just going to go straight into that clip as i mentioned <laughs> i'm so sorry this video is all over the place but please hit the subscribe button give me a give me a chance and head over to my instagram page as well to check me out on there all things fashion and beauty at simone so let's just go straight into the first clip and i'll probably see you guys at the end of this video and that will be future me yeah i'm confused myself now <laughs> it's been a bit of a quiet week which is why i'm struggling so much to film something for this week's video so i thought i would do a little spend the day with me and we can just catch up on life and all that good stuff a lot of questions about these glasses that i had in my last video and i am just in love they are my new favorite coffee mugs so i'm gonna make a coffee now and i'll actually show you guys what coffee i've been absolutely loving honestly this is the most annoying thing ever especially if you forget to wash it because now i've got to go wash that before i make a coffee so it says it's meant to be for normal milk only but i made a coffee yesterday with semi oat milk not even barista the semi oat milk and the froth was the best it's ever been so i'm gonna try and recreate that today gonna use these mugs so the mugs i picked up from my all-time favorite website you know i'm always talking about this website on my page that's cox and cox they weren't cheap i'm not gonna lie i think six mugs was like 70 quid it was expensive honestly if this breaks i will cry but they are so beautiful they came so much bigger than i thought they were going to be they look like little espresso mugs when i saw them on the website but they are big and I just love it. Cozy to hold and obviously you can't burn yourself. You don't need coasters because it's like a thick double wall. So you do get that nice floating effect. Who's messaging me? Oh, it's an email. Beauty Bay sale. So I'm gonna go wash this now. By the way, if anyone has this coffee machine and they struggle cleaning this part, because that sometimes like collects old milk, which is really gross, I know. Um, but I have found a little hat, which is just use a straw cleaner. So basically the straw cleaners I got with my glass straws um, and I stick it in, because they don't actually give you anything to clean this with. So this is like a hack slash common sense. Um, but yeah, I literally just clean the inside of it like that oh for god's sake so i am gonna just connect all this back up and i'm gonna get my oat milk so i've got the oatly semi and i was blown away by this coffee that i had yesterday so i really hope i can recreate it i remember putting loads of milk in so i'm gonna try and redo that so i'm gonna fill it right up anyone's contemplating getting one of these machines i highly recommend them they are just so handy 
these little bits as well can go in the dishwasher so you don't actually have to wash them so i've popped my capsule now in there and closed it then i'm gonna hit that button which is like the milk button and then the light will stop flashing once it's hot enough for me to hit that button i'm actually gonna just pop my glass there thing is these glasses the only thing is they're just so big for this machine but i mean i can work around that i mean look at the foam on that like i almost choked on foam yesterday look oh my god guys the foam on this it's just so foamy so guys i was honestly just minding my business drinking my coffee and then i got a few deliveries so i was just gonna show you guys what was in it got a bit of asos misguided i have got some morphe first item is this crop i think this material is called corduroy i'm not sure it's in this beautiful beigey kind of nude stone color um and i thought this would look really nice with like jeans and a white crop top underneath loving that secondly i did purchase a pair of heels why my toes look the state that they do and it's because i had like a crazy accident <laughs> where i was just sitting at home watching a film and i lifted my foot up and it got caught on the heel of my other foot and the nail literally lifted and broke like halfway down the middle of my toe and i've had like nine months of trying to get my toenail to grow back so i've been hiding my toes ever since i got these beautiful heels and that story is the reason why i can't show you guys what they look like on my feet so these kind of thong sandals are just so in right now um i saw asos had some and i was trying to get my hands on those but obviously they're sold out i really want to get my hands on the mint one i saw in shalina's spring haul absolutely love that girl if you don't follow her go follow her now she's absolutely amazing love her style but yeah she had like similar ones to these so i had to go and get similar ones to these you know um no but honestly absolutely love them love the like there's like a padding on this you know that's going to be really comfortable this would look amazing with like some really long jeans i'm in love with those so that was the heels i picked up no idea where i'm gonna go not planning on going anywhere anytime soon where i need to wear heels but you know it's good to have them i don't actually like the bandana print but misguided had like this brown linen kind of version to it so you literally just wrap it around and tie the back um and i just thought love the color firstly it would look really nice with a pair of jeans that's all i picked up from misguided i literally did this order last night and it 10 18 and it probably arrived like 20 minutes ago so it arrived at 10 i did this order at like 7 p.m last night i'm so impressed next i have a a sauce order i literally picked up one item this one is from reclaimed vintage and it is a cropped blazer in this like cream color i picked it up in a size maybe 14 oh wait no i actually went through to size so i've got a size 12 um absolutely loving that love reclaimed vintage as well by the way they are such a great brand on asos one of my favorites actually nice blazer to wear with like a pair of heels a pair of jeans i'm absolutely in love with that i'll link all these down below if you're interested in picking them up and then also i've not bought any makeup products for a very 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 long time end up on morphe's website i got a huge discount must have been like 20% off or something but I just really needed an angled brush because I just want to up my eyeshadow game to be honest and I don't have an angled brush I ended up getting this and a whole eyeshadow palette it only came up to like 20 pounds or 25 pounds so I was really impressed by how affordable it was hoping that I'll be able to used to do a bit of nice like fox eye looks how cute is this little travel bag absolutely love that and love that there's somewhere to store the brushes so you get all of these brushes they're all like eyeshadow brushes and i think there's another angled brush in there as well so that is what i picked up um and it does have on the back like all the different brushes and what they do the last thing that i got last week was this vase and it was from next this was 22 pounds 
and Craig thinks it looks like plastic but it's actually glass it looks so so stunning the camera probably won't do it any justice do need to get some more pampas to go in there because it's looking a bit sad right now but yeah for my home lovers I also picked up this beautiful vase from next I just missed walking around next so much so yeah I need to get some more pampas grass I feel like this room has pampas grass everywhere um yeah it is i need something else to be honest maybe like i don't know i actually picked up this from sainsbury's they had like a bunch of these for five pounds which is really good but they're not that thick i need to find something to fill this vase with i would like to get maybe eucalyptus i saw a girl the other day walking through camden i was in camden with a friend for lunch and basically this girl had a huge bouquet of eucalyptus in her arms literally before she could even walk past someone had already stopped her and said where did you get that so i was like listening in but it turned out she was gifted it so she didn't actually know but yeah i'm loving like dried flowers right now i feel like everyone's just loving dried flowers i feel like we've been loving dried flowers for a long time so i'll show you guys the home sense haul that i did as well real shortly but first i'm gonna try these bits on so this is what it looks like i'm obsessed and i am definitely keeping this one um love the color of it it actually comes with matching trousers as well if anyone's interested they're matching trousers also love the tie back on there guys this is so cute i just thought this would look amazing with like jeans and a white crop top maybe but love 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 this this is a vibe not together i would not wear these together i mean i could but i don't think i would i'm obsessed i love this so i've just tucked in that top so you can see it a bit better but this is so nice i feel like you can dress this up or dress it down really really easily i literally cannot wait for my next brunch guys because i'm gonna be in one of these i really really love this it is so nice um yeah so i will link all this down below if anyone's interested so this weekend is craig's birthday his birthday falls on the first of may so there's always like a bank holiday weekend so we've literally got plans all weekend however i've just seen that it's going to be rainy it's meant to be absolutely pouring it down this weekend which is really annoying because obviously all of our dinner reservations are outside and we've got literally like friday saturday sunday monday monday potentially so it's going to be full on and non-stop drinks this weekend um which i was really excited for but now i'm just like oh my god i hate when it rains or when you have to be outside let's see how it pans out it's really weird because bbc weather is saying that the weather's going to be fine there's just a high percentage of rain however google and daily mail is saying we're about to be flooded this weekend but i know daily mail exaggerate absolutely everything so i'm not gonna take that that um headline on it's meant to be like a washout weekend you know how they love to like make everything so dramatic that is pretty much what's going on this weekend and obviously i was planning on vlogging the entire weekend and show you guys what we get up to i want to do like a balloon arch myself so i've got all the balloons but i don't know whether it's worth getting helium or whether it's worth blowing it up myself the thing with helium i find is it's so expensive for a canister of helium and it only blows up like 25 balloons purely me not wanting to blow up like hundreds of balloons that i'm like trying to just get a canister so i might have to do that um come to think of it i'm gonna have to do that pretty soon maybe today if i want to get that in time for saturday also you guys would never guess what came through the letterbox right as i was about to leave we were just talking about this earlier and i literally don't even remember signing up for a catalog but i got the cox and cox catalog i am obsessed with cox and cox i feel like i talk about them so much on my channel so here is the catalog that i just received i did not even order one of these so yeah i just thought it was really ironic that we were talking about them earlier this is the type of neutral kind of styling that i'm talking about like those planters are just unreal uh can we talk about this little bean bag like lounger for the garden and 
I just love all the neutral tones they have on their website. Like they've got the hanging egg chair in like a really natural color. Yeah, they just have some really cool pieces like, like this day bed, for example. Uh, things you don't necessarily see. I feel like they have some really nice pieces that can be really trendy if you've got like a nice modern garden but the thing is their decor here you don't even need a modern garden they have some really cool vintagey looking pieces their stuff goes really well with like rustic decor and like uh if you have a look at like that day bed for example natural color rattan bits wooden bits i just love all the neutrals i love absolutely everything on their website they've got so many hanging egg chairs this is actually one of the chairs that i absolutely loved i thought that would look insane in our garden it's just so stunning um so yeah this is pretty much like the adult version of an argus catalog for me so as i mentioned that is where i got those um coffee mugs from but what i wanted to show you guys was the home sense haul and yeah as i mentioned it is not a huge haul at all and just like that my camera is flashing red my skin just looks so shiny like you know when you do your skincare and you just end up looking more shiny than anything hey guys so it's actually the next day when my battery died i kind of called it quits for the day as you can see it is the next day now this was meant to just be a spend the day with me but now it looks like you're gonna spend like a day and a half with me because i've got loads to do today and i thought you know what i'm just gonna bring you guys along with me so today what i'm gonna do is it's already late it's like 11 a.m so i feel already behind schedule today is the day our house gets it's like bi-weekly clean by our cleaning company and i just don't feel prepared all of our outdoor like cushions are just around and not gonna lie they probably need to go back outside do you know bbc weather is such a fraud because not bbc weather google weather said it was gonna pour down with rain so we literally just brought everything in and because we don't have our shed at the minute we literally just have like garden stuff everywhere so and like underneath it is our pressure washer so this shed is going to be absolutely life-changing once we get it i am honestly going to be the happiest woman on earth once that shed arrives never thought i would say that i also need to pop to m s because i want to get some nice bits for like snacking tomorrow um maybe like a cake or something for craig's birthday yeah uh, maybe some cakes or I don't know. I just need to go M&S because I feel like I get so much inspiration once I'm there. I also want to go to Card Factory because apparently I can get a helium canister in Card Factory. So I want to go because I kind of left it way too last minute to do on Amazon. So I'm going to have to try and go find one. Otherwise, I'm going to be using my lungs. M&S is right next to Denelm and I'm wondering whether to stop in Denelm. But I feel like I'm already behind on the day. So maybe I won't have time. I also realized I didn't get to do the home sense haul. So I'm going to quickly do it now because it is, to be fair, quite a mini haul with some, some decent bits. Uh, the first item is actually not even from home sense. It's actually a gift that I wanted to show you guys that my friend got me um well she got for craig and myself as like a housewarming gift and it is the cutest like a tequila set like that is just brilliant she knows us to a t um and it comes with like a board with loads of tequila glasses i just love it like its own serving board tequila glasses like a little plate to put the lime on i'm such a tequila girl craig and i are just tequila people to be honest and yeah i just thought that was really really cute so thank you so much to my lovely friend who gifted us that now diving straight into the home sets haul the first thing is of course dr pawpaw this stuff is honestly so so good and tk maxx and home Set. so it's the only places you'll get it for 2.99 uh, everywhere else it's going to be extortionate oliver boner oliver boner <laughs> oliver bonus it's like seven pounds in there it's like what are you actually doing um so always 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 stack up on my dr pawpaw i got these acrylic champagne flutes and i wanted to get some more but these were the only ones on the shelf um and they're basically acrylic champagne flutes they're shatterproof and basically i just thought they would be a great addition to use during the summertime because drinking outside and having nice glasses in like windy areas and 
anything can happen in the uk okay so i am just protecting my glassware so i picked up these gorgeous 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 champagne flutes and they look like obviously i don't drink champagne like that i'm gonna be using these for prosecco uh, i would have loved to get another set so i had eight because i feel like that's a nice amount of glasses for a party if you know what i mean four maybe not enough but i did also pick up some in my cherries haul so i've got a few i just hate mixing and matching you know the ocd in me just won't allow that um but i'm gonna have to if it's gonna be like a party of more than four which most likely it will be um so yeah i just thought that was really really nice and they look like glass which is what i was looking for also when i went to next the other day next home i have some of these and they're pretty good as well they have like the big gin glasses which i absolutely love but unfortunately i don't drink gin um now i also picked up some kitchen scissors so in the beauty section i did pick up a dama plain set and i've been really excited to give this a try i want to remove all the peach fuzz on my face because apparently it makes your foundation look insane and it doesn't grow back like thicker and fuller like what everyone would assume so it's specifically for removing facial peach fuzz and dead skin for brighter smoother complexion um and yeah i'm just gonna give it a try and hopefully i'm gonna be looking you know like a baby's bottom so next up i picked up a really gorgeous shower cap i know it sounds silly but a shower cap's a shower cap but it's all about picking the right pattern on the shower cap so this one i thought was really cute and it i probably purchased this for the spa bathroom because it said spa bella on there and it looks very you know that kind of spa vibes on with the pattern but i completely did not include it in the spa bathroom if you haven't checked out that video yet that was last week's video i've done the spa bathroom room reveal that i think you guys will absolutely love so definitely check it out and it's just another room that i can finally say i don't have to keep hiding from you guys so next we're going on to the smelly so i'm gonna go a bit faster um i did pick up i'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff was probably meant to be added to the spa bathroom room reveal and i completely have not added it i'm pretty sure the vision was to put that in there but when i think of it now there probably is nowhere to put it um, so i've got cecil and jasmine uh candles these are hand poured and i just love the vibe of this jar they smell insane and then the other one is patchouli and vanilla i was about to say vinegar then that one is slightly sweeter and all these candles were on offer so that was three pounds and that was four pounds and i thought they look like really cute next to each other so i don't know where i'm going to put them now but absolutely love that the next candle if you love coconut you will absolutely love this candle so it is the warm sandalwood and coconut and oh my goodness it just smells like being somewhere tropical I'm also absolutely loving the packaging it's this a bit of iridescent silver uh, no it's by lab and oh my god like i'm not even gonna keep smelling it because it is insane i also picked up a oliver Ble olivia blake candle and this is in black oak and kumquat 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 why do i feel like i'm saying that wrong so these are like the joe malone dupes and i just thought all black was really really sleek loved the design guess what got some more candles next up we have peck sniff one of my favorites actually from home sense this brand i absolutely love because their packaging just looks so expensive this is the iced tea and fig candle and i just i'm loving the packaging on there these make such great gifts as well i don't know why my there you go yeah so i just want to show you guys how cute the packaging was um and that was four pounds next up i picked up a sandalwood and vanilla diffuser because i'm running low on diffusers then i got this really really cute room spray and this is in the oh my god look at the bottle so this and like these will just go so nicely together and maybe i was thinking of popping them in the spa bathroom for the room reveal but it just never happened goodness me that smells so bougie it smells like walking into a really expensive spa or like a really expensive hotel i really like that i really like bougie smells i'm just gonna stop trying to pronounce these really exotic words that smells insane love that as a room scent lime and cucumber room spray as well thought this one would be really nice i love the smell of cucumber because i love cucumber water so i just wanted to see what that one smelled like this one is more fresh so i'd probably say for like a bathroom or something 
but really really nice rim sprays from home sense and the last item that i wanted to show you guys actually no i've got two more items i'm actually gonna have to insert on the screen two of the items because they're just too heavy and they're already outside in the garden so i picked up these two planters one in a large size one in a smaller size and they were really inexpensive really really surprised by how amazing they look so as you can see i've popped in some plants in there like a cluster of plants um a solar light in the smaller one and i am so in love i think they look so nice they're currently on the decking like in the corner um and they're also i've popped some like fairy lights on the big one as well so really really happy with how that looks Ooh, another amazon delivery what did i order all right we'll, we'll have a look at that in a sec so guys the next item that i picked up is this gorgeous smoked vase and it was 9.99 so this is now featuring on my coffee table because i think it's too gorgeous not to absolutely love the like tint of like a almost like a dark blue but it fits in so well with like the mirrored stuff and the chrome stuff in here and oh my god i can just hear myself echoing uh but yeah as soon as i hit 30 this kind of vase obsession just hit me all of a sudden so now that we've gone through all of the home sense items i can safely say i can go find all these things at home now let me know what you think down below in the comments um i do want to go back quite soon i don't know i just feel like i love going into home sense for like if I'm bored, I will go have a walk around home sense. So yeah, that's the type of level I've hit now in my adult life. Just want to quickly see what came from Amazon. Um, and then we can hit the road because I don't know why I thought I was going to be leaving way earlier. Okay, so literally this item is life changing and I was coming to the end of my previous one and... I really hope this is like the same one that I had before. So if you've not heard of the deep sleep pillow spray, oh my goodness. If you have trouble sleeping, I don't even have trouble sleeping. I, by habit, spray this on my pillow every night. And I kid you not, once my head hits the pillow, I am gone until the next day. And it is so, so effective um, and it smells amazing. I usually have, my one smells like lavender, but this, I don't know if this is the same one. Looks like this, and you literally just spray a couple pumps on your pillow. I find it so incredible. Love the smell of it, and it really just like, huh, almost just calms down all of your senses so you can just prepare to sleep. So the next thing I picked up, did not think it was gonna be this small, to be honest, um, is I wanted a mirror for inside the shower. So basically, when I'm like cleansing my face and stuff, I don't know why, but I like looking into a mirror. So when I'm in the shower, I have nowhere to look. So I purchased like this little mirror with a suction cup that you're meant to literally just like hang. I think it just hangs like that. There's instructions and stuff on the back that I'm gonna have to go through, but it's actually called the shave, shave well mirror. So that is what it looks like there. So I was hoping it was gonna be way bigger. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't, but that's where my head was at. I just need like a mirror like an anti-fog mirror i can use so i can do my cleansing and shaving without doing it blind if that makes sense so yeah some people are gonna think that's absolutely crazy but the little things in life that would help me out is actually ridiculous so guys this is the current situation just parked up so opposite me we've got denelm and I think there's an Aldi in the corner. But then behind me, we have actually got an M&S food hall. I don't know if you can see that. And then on this side, we have a Costa. So my priorities right now are kind of all over the place. I don't know where I want to go first. It looks fairly busy. So if it's too busy, obviously I'm not going to bother filming in there. Even the car park is absolutely heaving. I feel like people are watching me right now. Let's see how we get on. I might pull out the camera, might not. But I will definitely show you guys guys what I picked up. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, my um mine went very blank when I went into there, so I'm not hundred percent sure whether I got everything I needed to get. Ooh, okay, so we are gonna go um 
I'm not going to bother with Denelm in the interest of time or Costa because I can't work out whether it's a drive through or not. We're going to head straight to our next destination. So I will catch up with you guys in a sec. Bingo. Okay, I don't actually know which one to get, so I'm going to need your help here. Um, there's not many options, to be fair. We are back. I found the helium canister, as you guys saw. Yeah, they never gave me a bag to, to like, hold it properly. So I ended up having to hold it, and then I got a coffee. It was amazing, actually being able to have a walk around the town center and I really wanted to pop into stores walk past a white company and I was literally just like oh I can't wait to get inside but yeah got a coffee so once I had the coffee in that hand the canister in the other hand I'm not gonna lie I was in pain and struggling so I did get a sugar-free skinny iced um macchiato there's a funny smell in the air so I'm like I step in dog shit but no I haven't so today I went for a ice caramel macchiato um, because I need something strong and it's really hot well not really hot it depends if you're standing in the sun or not it's probably really hot because the car's hot oh yeah that's good I just love coffee so I'm gonna head back home now as I mentioned it was so nice walking around the town centre um, it felt so normal aside from all the mask wearing obviously but it just felt really nice and obviously this is a new town centre for me so it's like I'm not really know where I'm going so it's like walking down a street that I don't really know well so um, there's some really nice stores here I'm not gonna lie yeah just so many nice places I wanted to go into Boots because the Boots was huge and I just thought that is a rabbit hole i do not want to go down right now because no matter if i don't need a single thing in boots i will come out literally a hundred pounds lighter so it's probably best i just don't go in there but i really want to come back out here one day and literally just walk around and just walk around the stores with no real intention than to just get steps and get myself familiar with the area so that's what i would pretty much love to do anyways i'm gonna make a move now we're gonna head back home because obviously i've got so much stuff to do the plan is we've got dinner at six and i ideally want to edit this video and i haven't even taken a thumbnail have i so apparently the cleaners are there now which is great because when i get back i can just edit put my head down makeup on by half three maybe and get a few pigs for the gram and hopefully i will be in a decent position to enjoy the weekend once i know this video is up and ready to go i hate missing my upload days guys i am legit committed to these sunday uploads i want to show you guys what i got in mns he got a colin the caterpillar cake uh, i couldn't decide and do you know what we're gonna have a cake again on monday so i didn't really know what to do whether to get like a proper cake or not but i just got a colin the caterpillar cake with all the media press they've probably upped the price of it wouldn't surprise me at all if they have um but i just saw it was fitting so i just got him that so the plan tomorrow is i really just want to do like a um display yeah like a bit of a birthday display for him so i'm gonna get like the colin the caterpillar cake i got like this really nice press looking thing it was like mango and orange to like use as a mixer maybe and yeah just some like finger foods crisps chocolate sweets as i mentioned it's all gonna go in this big like display which is gonna in my head i've got it it's like an arch balloon the balloons i got from amazon and like all his gifts food i'm actually picking up these amazing brunch boxes tomorrow from this company called feast and fig i believe and they're quite local so i will show you guys what that looks like as well but of course you will see that one next week so next week's video will be another vlog of all the activities we do over craig's birthday so with that being said guys i'm gonna hit the road and i will see you guys back at the house just a quick show of what i picked up in m &S. um don't even know if these are nice because i don't actually drink beer but i thought they looked interesting um these are just necessities when you go to m and I feel like, um, especially for special occasions. That was the press I was talking about. This guy needs a no introduction. Some of Craig's like favorite things. I'm gonna whisper saying that. Um, yeah, he absolutely loves these. And then just like things to like put out into like little 
jars and stuff like that could not help myself from getting some freshly baked sourdough bread oh my god it is so soft and it was quite warm when i picked it up um again necessities when you go to mns especially is it me or is one missing oh my goodness surely one must be missing by the way how amazing is this bag <laughs> oh no i thought i had one more basically the best one is the truffle one which i clearly did not pick up which is annoying um then i saw this and thought this might be a great like finger food um just to like nibble at um plus who doesn't love like some kind of charcuterie board so that was pretty much it didn't want to go into too much detail but yeah that's what i picked up my mind went blank when i went in there which always happens when i do not make a list so learn from my mistakes guys make a list before you go anywhere the garden looks so disheveled right now um a lot going on i think while i was gone craig did some power washing with the karcher karcher i think it's called power washer which is amazing by the way um i did put it on the home interior account on instagram that we got a karcher and i did have a few people ask how is it I do a bit of review honestly i don't use it craig uses it um and so far i think so good it is the k2 compact one and it has loads of like attachments to do loads of different things so that is what it looks like it's quite small craig also always says he wishes there were straps so he can put them on his back which i think would be really weird and very ghostbuster like it's just a bit of a state right now to be honest um it's seen better days so yeah we're just waiting for the weather to like be a bit more consistent so we can be out there like all the time but which reminds me i need to go water the plants out front i feel like they get neglected so much and they're starting to actually look a lot better so i think it's really down to the season so guys we're back home now had a really lovely dinner didn't actually get around to taking any pictures or anything like that because i ended up editing for so long and then having to absolutely rush actually went to dinner in an outfit that i had to throw together at the last minute so i was frantically all over the place throwing clothes all over the place but yeah that's what happens when you try and cram a million things into one day i really hope you enjoyed today's video it is a bit of a i don't know it felt like a bit like a mashup of so many different things i really honestly try to keep it as short as possible but i don't know whether you guys prefer longer videos or shorter videos when it comes to the vlogs so do let me know down below in terms of length um i'm gonna cut it here and then next week's video will be like a continuation so you see what we got up to at dinner tonight and what we're going to do for the rest of the weekend so guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys all in my next video Mwah.